Well, a county already facing a critical water shortage is now having to fight fires with the little water it has left. Yeah, to make matters even worse, authorities in Harrelson County say the brush fires they've been fighting were caused by arson. Now, Fox News' Denise Dillon is in Harrelson County with a look at the damage. Denise? Yeah, there have been 11 brush fires here in Harrelson County in less than two weeks, one just last night. And now firefighters are having to tap into the county's water supply, which is already at a critically low level. 11 fires that were ruling arson. Harrelson County Fire Chief Brian Walker says they had six fires in one day, and that was followed by one of the largest fires they've seen. 559 acres on Treat Mountain. This is dangerous enough, but it's even more extreme in Harrelson County, where their water supply, the Tallapoosa River, is drying up. Nobody has seen the Tallapoosa this bad. A hot summer and no rain. The Tallapoosa River is at its lowest level in 100 years. Every day, crews go into the river to try to clear debris and beaver dams to keep the water level up. We've never seen these levels this low in our lifetime. Harrelson is forced to buy water from Alabama and neighboring counties. There's a total water ban. Car washes are closed. Firefighters are having to rely on tanker trucks instead of tapping into hydrants. And now that some of that water is being used to douse fires that officials say have been deliberately set, it's become an even more dire situation. It's costing extra water that we wouldn't uh, have to use. Precious water at this point. Oh yes, very precious in Harrelson County. Fire officials say they don't have any leads on who might be starting these fires, so they're asking anyone who sees anything suspicious to give them a call. Reporting live in Harrelson County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.